Today's tutorial will look at different rules surrounding section drawings. So when we look at section drawings, we first have to understand what the purpose is of a section drawing. Remember in the past we've had examples where there's hidden information on the inside of a specific view. And sometimes there's so much hidden information that it's almost easier to just chop a component in half and actually look at what that information is. So this is an example where you see a component. If we cut through the component and you can see these hatched sections, that's actually what we will see when we cut through the component. So when we talk about a section, it's literally that we're cutting off the front half or whether it's a quarter or the whole half, we cut that completely away. And now we're going to look at what that view looks like. So if you look at the examples that were drawn here, this is the correct view that you'll see. And you'll see the reason for that is it includes the whole shape that is sectioned here, but it also includes these lines. Remember the solid lines indicate a change in level. And so each of these lines you will also see on this view because now we're actually seeing directly through this component and we see what is there. This will not be correct. So if I have a situation where I've cut through the half, you won't show the information on the inside as hidden because it's not hidden anymore. The front part is literally taken away. So that is truly what I'm seeing. It's also not correct to not include any of that information because there's definitely changes in uh, depth here. So you definitely have to indicate that these lines have to be there. So let's look at another case. The other important thing here is if we have, for example, a half section, now we're not cutting through the whole half, but we're literally, if we look at the top view, we're taking this piece completely off. So if we break this completely away, and now we only see this component, if we look in this direction, we see this component from the outside. And here, when we look at this, we actually only see the section view of that part. So this is what you can see here. This side is only showing the outside of that component, and this part is only showing what it would look like if I cut that completely away and I look at what is there. Now, very important here is to look at how we indicate what's happening here in the middle. So this is incorrect. To have a solid line here is incorrect. We don't have a solid line when we are cutting through a component and behind the place where we're cutting, there's an empty space. So if you look at this, that's the point where we are cutting. And this circle is an empty space. There's no component, no material in there. So because I'm cutting into an empty space, when I have my line, which divides between the section and non-section, you only have a section line or a, uh, a center line. So you only show the center line and you do not show any solid lines in that case. So this will be incorrect and this will be the correct way because behind the point here, there's no material. That's why we use a center line. Let's just look at another example that talks about that specific principle. So here, for example, if we have a case where when we cut only a quarter away, so again here we're only cutting away this half, and so this piece is taken away. If we look at this component, we only see this from the outside, and this we see as a section. But now here at the bottom, right here at the bottom, there's actually some material left. So it's not at the bottom of this component that I'm cutting through a void, but there is some solid material. So there I have my solid line. But for the rest, I'm cutting into the void, into that empty space. And so I see my center line indicated there to show the dividing line between sectioned and non-sectioned. So here in this case, this would be incorrect. If I had a place where I'm actually cutting through solid material and I indicate it by using a center line, that will be incorrect. You need to show that as a solid line. So if you do not show that as a solid line, that will be incorrect. <laughs> 